Hey guys, this is Josh. I'm making my video on my ideas about war. Um, I'm not really a, a war person. I don't ever see that there's a valid reason for it. Um, I've never believed there to be a valid reason for war. And all the wars that our country has been in, um, and it seems like the U.S. is war and bloodthirsty. This and um, it's it's disgusting. I don't think there's ever a reason for war. There's never a valid reason to go into someone else's land and because it's like with this war right now that we're in in Iraq um, I was born and raised in New York City so I spent a lot of time around the World Trade Center and I did lose some some friends um, in the World Trade Center bombings my dog is angry I had to stop and do that. He gets mad sometimes. He was putting his penis on my foot, so I kicked him away. He was. <laughs> and that was his reaction to removing his penis from my foot. So back to war. Um, like with this war in Iraq, back to, you know, 9-11. Iraq isn't who invaded us. Uh, Iraq isn't who did this with the Twin Towers, so why are we there? We lost, you know, obviously thousands of innocent Americans, men, women, and children, and I get that. But people in Iraq, their life isn't more valuable than ours, and that's how I feel, that's what I feel that war does, is it makes a statement that Americans' lives are more valuable than Iraqi lives, and they're not because there's uh, Iraqi men, women, and children that are being murdered in these attacks, in these bombings, in this invasion that we're doing. And um, there's, there's really no sense to it. So that's kind of where, where I struggle with, with war. Um, it's just a big killing fest for, for what? It's like, it's a, it's, it's a pissing contest among governments. It's greed, money. You know, this country is so poor right now, you know, it, it's because we're spending like a trillion dollars, however, in, you know, in, in, on war, on bullshit that's not doing anything. We've been in this war for 10 years and nothing's changed. The only thing that's changed is our country has gotten worse and worse and worse. People don't have any jobs, they don't have any money because we're spending all the money on, on everything other than what we need to be. Um, so I kind of feel like that's where I stand on it. I'm c completely 100% against it. I don't ever think there's a valid reason for it. Um, you know, I I just think we need to just stay in our own country and do what, you know, turn all those resources inward. Turn all, all of the the money that we're spending blowing shit up and killing people inward to, you know, help our schools and create programs for, for children and to research, you know, science, you know, to, to put money towards medical research, to cure things like childhood cancer. If we didn't spend billions of dollars every minute on a war, we would be able to put more money to saving our kids and curing diabetes and curing cancer and curing AIDS and, you know, doing things that are going to help this country grow and flourish and not turn in on itself and just implode. That is my view on it. I'm 100% against it under any circumstance. Um, even after September 11th, I don't think war was justified. At least if there were to be a war, we need to do it with the right people. It wasn't anything that Iraq did. And I think it was a disgrace. And I think it is a disgrace, and it makes our country look disgraceful. Um, now, when it comes to soldiers, I'm not um, obviously against them. They risk their lives so I can have the freedom to say what I'm saying right now. Um, so I don't want anyone to think that I'm against military, because I'm not. Um, I am 100% for the soldiers, and I thank them for their efforts. I thank them for giving up their lives so I can have the freedom to be who I am and live how I want to live. But I just don't think it's 
I think it's counterproductive sending our kids halfway across the world to blow up other people's kids while they get themselves killed. All for oil, for gas, for, for money and for greed and for prestige. I think the money we're spending on that, trying to get oil over there, we can, like I said, once again, turn inward and come up with renewable resources that aren't going to kill this earth along with killing all of mankind. That is my video on war. Those are my beliefs. And I hope you liked it. I'm looking forward to posting next week. Namaste.